right, let's make some Dave's Killer Bread. First, we're gonna start with some white wheat flour and soak it overnight. So I'm just adding some water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and just combining it until all of the dry ingredients are absorbed. You might need to um, use your hands to mix this together and even add another little drop of water if you have to so that you have this massive dough that sticks together and all of the dry flour is combined. Now the reason we're soaking this wheat overnight is to help break down some of the fibers in the whole wheat flour. This is going to make a softer dough for us and we just need to leave this overnight uh, at room temperature covered in plastic and the next day we're going to turn this into some super soft wheat bread. So we're going to combine the water, yeast, and agave syrup just to activate the yeast before we begin to mix the dough. And just stir it up and give it about five minutes until you see that your yeast is nice and foamy on top. So in the bowl of your stand mixer, we're gonna start by adding that soaked wheat that's been sitting out for 12 hours. And to that, we're going to add the yeast and uh, agave mixture, some canola oil, and the vital wheat gluten. That's gonna help to make this dough a little stronger since these seeds are gonna break down all the gluten. I also added some sea salt and a little bit of vitamin C, mixed it for three to five minutes until the dough comes together. Now I'm just adding wheat berries, grains, and seeds. I add these after the dough is developed a little bit, just so it doesn't tear up the dough. So I mix it just to combine it, and I'm gonna let this proof uh, covered in the container that I mixed it in, in the bowl that I mixed it in for about an hour to two hours, depends on the temperature of your kitchen. Now working gently with this dough, I'm turning it out onto a lightly floured surface and um, shaping it while I'm deflating it just a little bit. This is a double loaf batch, so I'm dividing it in half, and now I'm just gonna start to shape the loaves of bread for the bread pan. So I start with a rectangle that's just a little bit uh, less wide than the size of a loaf pan, and trying not to trap any air bubbles inside, roll it towards you till you have a nice firm loaf. And then repeat it all over again for the other portion of dough. Start with your square rectangle, fold it over. I tuck in the sides like a burrito and then keep rolling down. When you get to the bottom, I use the heel of my hand, the palm of my hand to seal that seam nice and tight. Now we're going to put the seeds and grains on top. And the way I like to do this is on two plates. One of them has a wet paper towel and the other one has the topping. So I just roll the dough back and forth on the moist paper towel so that the seeds will stick to the dough. And then I roll it back and forth and I get the edges and all the sides uh, covered in the seed mixture and pop it into an oiled bread pan. Just let it proof until it crests over the top of the pan Bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, let it cool, and then slice and enjoy.